Hello YouTube, it's Microbone again. And apparently I may have actually screwed up when I tried to review this game because uh, apparently there were actually two modes of this. There was Arcade and Simulation. The one I clicked on was Arcade. So yeah. So in pushing up ropes is kind of a fashion, I am actually going to take a second look at this game. And this time, it's going to be the simulation mode, which will allow you to essentially build your own space station. So, and I already have the game inside the PlayStation, so let's take a look. Or should I say, a second look. Man, it's just nostalgic hearing that PlayStation noise again. Well, considering that I hadn't been doing reviews much for the past two months. Well, mainly because I just got out of college and also been doing some work around the house as well as my hometown. So yeah, I can be pretty, pretty busy. So I hardly had enough time to even do anything. So consider the first video the first part. I'm just gonna do a second look. Hopefully do it properly this time. Anyway, a little backstory. I actually got this game at a local at a local value village for at least four dollars. You can still see the sticker on the back. As you can see, we always see a revisit of Bender again from Image Builder, and apparently now you can skip in this part. Uh, I don't know. The, the game is just weird that way. And we talk a space station was released in 2000 by Hasbro Interactive, the same people responsible for doing Taka Workshop and Taka Garage, two PC games I already reviewed earlier. So, so the doors opening up featuring Doom and yeah, I already know you Taka Joe. It's just that I'm actually gonna do a second revisit. So anyway, this game was actually adapted from the PC port, and yes, a PC port. I am not kidding. Yeah, it seems like there's a lot of these PlayStation titles that were adapted from PC games, such as Warhammer Shadow of the Horned Rat, as well as the MechWarrior 2 game. So yeah, this is what I mean when I said uh, that the game even has troubles loading. Well, that's because the disc is pretty much scratched. So, I already reviewed Arcade, so why, why don't I nice to actually do simulation? So, let's just get that out of the way. So, I'm going to pick one. I'm sure that Chris Hatfield will probably appreciate going. Now, apparently in this mode, I'll just set the camera down so I can actually play this game properly. Yeah, I don't have a stand to put the camera on, so you just gotta bear with me here as I try to figure out how to set it down right. Oh, well, anyway, I could just set this down on my lap here, and hopefully that will hold. So anyway, let, let's build something for a change. Now, there's many stations to choose from. Like defense, factory, harvest, housing, power plant, research, sports arena. So I'll just do the one that's probably the easiest for me to do. And yes, I'm still playing this game one-handedly. And what are you doing floating in space? Yeah. So... Let's go ahead and take a look at defense. As you can see, I'm chasing down a comet. Well, while taking so much damage in the process. Apparently, my mission here is to destroy that comet that's headed towards one of the communication satellites. Yeah, that's all there is to it. 
Oh, and those little wrenches you just saw earlier, they're actually meant to repair your ship. And as you can see, I'm already taking enough damage that I will eventually get a mission fail. Yeah, mission terminated. Yeah, it's really hard to dodge those asteroids because they're just coming straight towards you. And since uh, what you just saw there is that it ended up in kind of a Star Fox kind of way. So, yeah, pretty much you can't even see them coming. And they're just so tiny. So, anyway, what happens if you get a mission fail? Well, you end up with this. A nice cinematic of the communication satellite being destroyed. I get one star. Why don't you take another try at activating the space station module? Yeah. Apparently, if you complete all, if you complete a, a station, you can level up. So yeah, you can see it's almost kind of an RPG-esque kind of a deal. But yeah. You know, maybe eventually I'll get this disc resurfaced, if possible. So, yeah. So, let's just try doing something else for a change. Uh, like, say... Factory? Let's try that. And that was just the same video as before. Apparently Hasbro got too lazy again. Otherwise, those are some pretty ob obvious video similarities. But yeah, and of course I see my battery light, so yeah. I'm running out of juice here, so. I'm just gonna do this one, and after that, that is done. And once that's over with, I'm going to actually take this Tonka Space Station game over to my little battle mech friends in my, in my room here to destroy it. Yeah, I'm sure you probably seen my first uh, video of 2013 where, yep, those miniatures came straight from Battletech. A board game based off of the Mech Warrior franchise, or rather, the one that started it all. As you can see here, I'm piling in this little drilling platform here, just drilling up crevices here that I can collect these green crystal thingies that looks like kryptonite. Superman fans are going to die from that one. And apparently watch out with the boxes of TNT that looks like it came straight out of, out of Crash Bandicoot because otherwise they could explode, as what happened here. Apparently that's all you have to do here, just collect crystals and make it to the space station. Or should I say the power plant. I'm just driving around ever so slowly. Pretty much. Ow! Yeah, you see what I mean? You keep bumping into those things. Look at there's more of those blue wrench glowing wrench thingies that you use to repair your vehicles. Now apparently I heard that there's actually a bonus level if you complete all, if you level up the entirety of the station, which is called uh, Asteroid Defense, or apparently you have an asteroid that's heading straight towards a space station, and you get to pilot a modified, uh, modified vehicle that was used in Comet Defense called the TSS something whatever. I have no idea what it's called, but I'm sure that's probably hard to get at Yeah, this might take a long time to do it so Yes Bad little buddy. 
Well, it's necessary. So yeah, I wish I could show you how what happens if you actually succeed in it. So yeah, but I guess what happened was you get promoted. That's pretty much how it happens. Eventually, it goes up to the rank of. I don't know, Galaxy Commander or something? Oh wait, that's Clan. That's Clans from Battletech. So yeah, apparently there's multiple stations to choose from in here. I choose one because it kind of resembles the ISS Space Station. And no, I'm not referring to the uh, Empire from a Star Trek game for the Xbox. So this has been a second look of Tonka Space Station, just to clear up the mistake I just did earlier. But still, coming up next, I'm going to take a look at the Sega Saturn. Until then, this is Mechro1, signing off, and I'm really sorry about what just happened in the first video.